everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Amanda and I make fashion and styling videos, lots of try on hauls here on my channel. And I also blog over at strawberrychicblog.com. If you haven't already, I would love for you to stick around by subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my latest uploads. I swear I found the cutest things at Walmart. I mean, if it's online and cute, I'm pretty sure it's in this room right now and I cannot wait to try it on with you guys. Lots of great spring clothes, but also fun vacation vibes. So if you have one coming up, definitely stick around for today's video. Everything that I style in today's video will be linked down in the description box below. I have a feeling it's gonna be a very large description box because I have so many good things to share with you guys. Don't forget to let me know your favorite look down in the comments below and let's jump into today's looks. So everything except my shoes is from Walmart and I am completely in love with every single thing. This top is seersucker, so comfortable. I love the blue and white stripes. I think this does come in multiple colors. So this top has like a flowy kind of baby doll fit where it just kind of floats around. The sleeves are a little like roomy. They're definitely not tight, which makes it a little more comfortable as it starts to get really hot out. You could still get away with wearing this because it's not too tight and suffocating. I love the neckline. It has, I have three of the buttons unbuttoned here. And then the sleeves hit just right at the wrist. These jeans, I've actually done a full review all about Walmart jeans. So I will link that somewhere here so you can check that out after this video. But these are a pair of the white jeans that I found. These were $17. I am wearing a six. I have worn these multiple times. They're definitely due for a wash, but I would probably recommend, if you're on the fence, I would size up just because with lighter fitting pants in general, um, they tend to show a little more. I'm not saying that these are see-through at all, but you'll be a little safer sizing up. I have also know that some people who have bought them said that they ran small. I'm like in between a four and a six right now, so I think they fit me perfectly, but they are really high rise. I love that. I love that there's not pockets, so they fit perfect. They're actually really soft and stretchy. They're a jegging material, which white jeggings, I did not think could ever exist and work. <laughs> um, my shoes are Tory Burch. I love these. I know they're not gonna be in everyone's like comfort price range. I have linked a couple other options down in the description box, but these are so comfortable. I got my normal size eight. I normally size up in Tory Burch, but I figured with the leather, they would stretch out and I do feel like that is the case, even though I've only worn them once or twice. So I would say get your true size. And then this bag, you guys, I am so in love with it. And then I love this bag so much that I actually bought it in both colors. So I'll be sharing the other color option soon, but I think this is just the cutest thing. I love the top handle and the pop of color, obviously. So it does come with a longer strap if you want to wear it over your shoulder, but I think it looks the cutest on the wrist or just being carried just so you can see that fun strap. I am honestly so blown away by the cute clothes that I found at Walmart. I mean, this is by far the best Walmart try on haul that I've done here on my channel. I just love all these fun spring pieces, but how cute is this gingham top? Oh my gosh. Adorable, right? It is such a good fit and really comfortable. I actually online wasn't so sure about it. I thought it'd be like stiff, but it is not. It is really comfortable. The arms are nice and flowy, but they look nice and fitted. I love the V-neck. I love the cute arm detail. I mean, where has this been all my life? Because I would probably have more of my student loans paid off if I knew about cute Walmart clothes this soon <laughs> or earlier. I'm wearing the same white jeans. I'm gonna be keeping these on for the next few looks just because that's how I would wear them. And I didn't buy that many pants, mostly tops. So um, same white jeans. And then these shoes are a dupe for the pair at Nordstrom that I've styled. So I wanted to grab them and review them. So I will share a little close up and a little more detailed review and compare those next. And they definitely run big. I would say size down in them. Um, they are, like my foot's falling out of it. I got a size eight, which I would consider as my normal size, and I feel like they swallow my foot. So just a little sizing tip, definitely size down, but I will give a close-up comparison to those next. So if you are looking for a really great, comfortable wedge, I would still 100% direct you to this one. I think just spending a little bit more 
will make your feet a little happier. I walked around Florida tra like traveling in these and I was still so comfortable after hours of wear because the leather is just so soft and your foot's really nice and supported in there. But if you're just wanting the look for less or if you don't wear wedges very often and you don't plan on like going shopping in them or wearing them for hours, then this still is a really great dupe for the same look. I would definitely size down in these. They just seem to run big, but I kind of question whether or not this will be very comfortable. Um, of course, it's fine right at first, but it is pretty stiff um, as far as the material goes. So just depending on price point, obviously this will give you the look for less, but if you're wanting to get a good shoe that you can last in for a couple hours, I would still go with these. So here is the other color that I got in the bag. I honestly could not pick a favorite. I love the handle of this one because it's pink and blue. And I also love this minty blue color. It's one of my favorites. So I just got both. So this top is really cute. I love the soft little minty blue color. I would say you might want to size down in this top. I'm wearing a small, um, but this is really cute. I love the ruffles and it's very comfortable. I think this comes in a couple colors. There's a lot of material here, so it hangs really cute. And I love this minty color. And then I have on the same look as last time, but how cute is this little top? Okay, so here is a good early spring look if you guys love denim jackets. This one is a size small. It's very stretchy and comfortable, actually. Sometimes denim ja jackets can fit very stiff, but this one already feels like it's broken in. It does fit a teeny bit boxy. I would almost want to try on the extra small just because I like them to be fitted. I don't know. I just don't want to feel like I'm in a box. But I think this is really cute. I like the color of it. And then under it I have this tank. I have no idea why I felt like I needed to size up in this. So I'm wearing a medium and it is like below my bra over here on the sides. So we're going to ignore that. I actually saw a shirt like this from Nordstrom for 80 bucks, so I will link that just so you guys can get a comparison. It's basically the same look for less, um, but the material is so cute and flowy. I love this like double layered, really light. It almost looks like tulle, but it's not. It's like a mesh material, and I do like the length as well. Um, it actually seems longer in the front than the back. It might just be the jacket, actually. I'm going to take the jacket off. Um, and then this bag I thought was really cute. This is actually a dupe as well. I remember seeing a bag almost identical to this from Shopbop. Same color, same little strap here. And I wanted it so bad, but it was $400. And I just could not justify it. So when I saw this one, that's exactly what I thought of. So this is pretty cute if you're looking for a, a tote. I think this comes in a couple colors. Kept on the same white jeans and then these little cute ruffle wedges I think are adorable. One of you guys actually recommended them to me because you know my style so well. I think the ruffle is so cute. I love the neutral color. I actually had a pair like this from DSW sitting in my cart. So another kind of dupe find from Walmart and these fit a lot more true to size than the last pair. I feel like I could probably wear the seven and a half or an eight but I think this is the size 8 so I would just stick with that one and most wedges have an espadrille so if you don't love that this has a cork material instead so they're a little bit lighter so here is so you guys could see the top I think this is adorable this one's honestly just way too big on me I almost would question whether or not you should size down in this just because this is so big and flowy um, I mean you can see all the extra material there it's just supposed to hang and be flowy. I love this material and how girly it is. It's just really cute. Um, and it is a teeny bit sheer, but it's not enough for me to really justify having to wear another layer underneath. And I have a neutral bra there and you can't really see it. If I was to wear this to work, I probably would just to, you know, keep it PG, but I feel like it's perfectly fine just for out and about without anything under it. Super cute. So I feel like this look is definitely meant for Florida. It's really good for early spring break. This material of this shirt in general is very lightweight and comfortable and it would be really good in a hot environment. It's thin enough to where you can barely see through it and I would not worry about layering underneath. 
um, just to keep you cool. But I really like the ruffle detail along the neckline. I would just let these ties hang down to be kind of casual. The print's really pretty. It's like a medallion blue and white. And then I did accidentally get a petite small instead of a regular small. Um, with petite sizing, it just is a little shorter on the arms and then the length is a little bit shorter. I, I honestly like this fit, so I'd probably just keep this size, but obviously double check because I honestly didn't mean to buy petite, so I'm not sure if this top is petite only or not. I will link both if that's the case. And then this little beach tote says tropical vibes. I think it's really cute. It is definitely, definitely really cheap though. Um, I don't know if you can see the front. It's a little misshapen from shipping. And this material in general is very interesting. It's just really cheap. So don't have high expectations for this tote. It's definitely more so for the looks and to keep it affordable. But it will probably only last a season at the beach. Um, but the handles are really cute. I love the palms. This would be cute if you have a vacation or cruise coming up or if you're heading somewhere sunny. So here is a look at the bag. As you can see right through here, it's a little misshapen from shipping. And I honestly feel like um, if you're not careful, you will poke a hole in the bottom of this. It just feels really vulnerable and cheap. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Um, but it's really cute. I love all the fun colors. These palms are removable. They're just tighter on the handles, which I do really like the colors. And then the inside is a pretty print. So this is just screaming for vacation, but don't have high expectations for it to last season to season. So I am just holding this hat so you can see what it looks like. It says summer vibes on it. Um, again, like, can I just go to the beach with this outfit? This is so comfortable. These shoes are actually, I like them a lot more than I was honestly expecting. I was thinking that they'd be really kind of stiff and uncomfortable, but they are actually very comfortable. Um, so I'll show you guys a close up of those in a minute. So here is what the hat looks like. I think it is adorable. Hats are somewhat hard to travel with because they can get misshapen very easily. I actually always pack like socks and underwear or bathing suits in the hat itself. And then I put it at the bottom of my suitcase. That way it, it helps keep its shape for the most part. And I hope that makes sense. Um, but in general, if you can find a super cheap, cute little vacation hat, then you don't have to worry about it. If it gets messed up, it gets messed up. But I never go to the beach without a hat on. I always like to protect my skin. Um, I'm sure I'm kind of shocked I haven't had any questions or comments about my scars probably because I tend to keep them covered throughout winter. Um, but those are dermatology scars. So I definitely try to avoid the sun as much as possible. Um, but on vacation, obviously you need to get out and enjoy a little vitamin D. So just wearing a cute hat like this. Okay. I'm getting on a rant back to the outfit. Um, this dress is, I actually thought it was too small. But then I realized it's actually just the straps. They are smocked, so it just kind of pulls the dress up in general. Um, if it stayed down here, it'd be a little more comfortable. I love the stripes and then the design and the fit in general. Um, that's just the one thing about the straps. So I'll probably end up kind of pulling it down from time to time. The length is really cute. This would look good, obviously, if you're not on vacation. You could just wear this dress with the denim jacket that I shared a couple outfits ago. Okay, so here is the sandal. It's very similar to Steve Madden. Again, another somewhat dupe from Walmart, but these are a lot more comfortable than I was expecting. I actually think they're more comfortable than the Steve Madden. They do look a little cheaper with the stitching, but honestly, I feel like these I like better than the actual version, which I think are... $80 or something crazy like that. So if you want the look for less, or if you've just been eyeing the Steve Madden pair, then definitely consider this one. I think they run true to size. Um, if you're in between sizes, size up. So this type of outfit is something that I travel in a lot throughout the year. I love these like really comfy t-shirt dresses. This one is pretty long, doesn't have a ton of great shape. So I belted the denim jacket around it. I always get cold, so it is pretty handy to have something around your waist. That way, when you do get cold, you can layer up, especially when it's normally really hot during the middle of the day and then cools down 
during spring. And then these little eyelet sneakers are my favorite. I think they're just so darling. They are really comfortable. Ooh, did y'all hear my ankle? This is like story of my life. <laughs> oh my gosh. But they are adorable. They're very comfortable. So this is something that I would travel in. I'll show you guys what this little swing dress looks like. But both of these pieces are from Walmart. These are from the loft. Let me show you guys what this looks like without anything. So it is pretty... I don't know. It's not the best shape, that's for sure. It would also be cute knotted. Ooh, I'm going to do that real quick. So I just looked at the tag and realized that I got a medium in this dress. So that would probably help the situation a little bit. Um, especially because it's like an 8 to 10 and I'm more of a anywhere from a 2 to a 6. <laughs> so anyway, I added that little knot there. So that definitely gives it a little more shape and a little more style. I love to do that with maxi dresses. And you can kind of play with how big or small you want it to be. If you want it really short, you can do that. Or you can just do a really small one and kind of pull it down. But it gives it a little more style. Although I think getting the right size would definitely help. These are very comfortable. Um, a lot of versatility and so good to travel in. So this little black dress fits really well. It's actually super comfortable. I'm wearing a small here. I feel like it's really great for work if you wear dresses. Um, there it is with my fingertips. If you do have a really strict dress code and it has to be knee level, then this probably won't work just because the layer underneath is just below mid thigh. It's definitely still, I would say appropriate, but it is on the verge. I would say if you're in a very strict dress code environment, um, but the neckline is one of my favorites. I love these tunic style necklines with a simple V. This one doesn't go down too low, so you don't have to wear, worry about anything showing. Um, and then the sleeves are really cute with a little ruffle flare detail under the elbow. It is more sheer on the sleeve, so it would get chilly, but I think it's really cute. The only thing I don't like about this dress is these little silver balls. I would honestly cut these off and then retie a knot just because I feel like they're a little distracting. Like, just looks a little weird and I don't think it's necessary. I've tried on a couple dresses with this and every time I talk about how it's not my favorite, I'd rather just wear a pretty necklace and get rid of those. So simple fix, just cut them off and retie a knot. Um, and then it is a fake kind of tie. So it's really just there for looks. It has like the scrunchy waistband everywhere else. And I don't think it's adjustable. Um, I was going to put some cute heels on with this dress, those little bow slide heels, but they are down in my car. So I just slipped on these comfy little cheetah slides instead. They actually, I've seen these back. So if you wanted them last year, I have found them again, so I will link them here. So here is a super simple, casual look. I love basics like this. This is what I wear most often. This is a striped top. It has more of a boat neck neckline, and it has a little bit of a point on the ends. I think this came in multiple colors. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm assuming it does. So with this top, I am actually wearing a medium, and I kind of like having a little bit more room. Um, just because it's meant to be super casual and I'm sure the small would fit fine. It would just be a little more fitted, but I don't mind the bigger size either. So I think you can go either way. This is just a little more casual. I do like the length. It is all the way around the same hemline. Um, you could definitely like do a little tie here with um, the hair tie, which will be coming up in my hacks video. As for these jeggings, these are from Time and True. I love the hemline. I always like to do this with my jeans in the springtime. I would 100% recommend to size up in these. They're a jegging material, so they do stretch, but when I held them up, they looked tiny. Like I swear this looked like a two. So um, I feel like they probably do run small. I'm wearing a six here. They are very high-waisted. I feel like they're, I think they might be similar to the white jeans as, as far as how they fit. Um, these have a little distressing here, which I don't mind. Um, it's not over the top. The material is really soft and stretchy. Definitely more comfortable than some of the other Walmart jeans that I've tried, but I will link that Walmart video if you want to check out some more Walmart jeans that I reviewed. And then I have on these Tory Burch espadrilles that I showed at the very beginning. Um, just really casual, comfy, simple, 
nothing special, but still cute. So sadly, this dress doesn't fit me that great. I think a lot of the issues could be fixed by fixing the long straps, sadly. Um, I could probably YouTube how to do it and try that, just because that is a pretty simple fix, but um, yeah, they're really long, so that's kind of dragging everything down. I feel like there's extra material through my waist because this is a little more empire, which I haven't had too much success with. I've only had a couple pieces, honestly, that are more empire, and for me, I guess if you have more of a straight figure, it wouldn't matter, but I have a really small, narrow waist here, so material just tends to gather right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I love the blue and white stripes and I love the ruffle. I think this is a really cute dress. So I think this dress would work a little bit better if you are a little more straight figured or really tall. I think this would be really great for you because the straps are already a little longer. Um, but it just didn't work for me. I am still blown away by the cuteness overload that I found at Walmart. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to let me know your favorite look or looks down in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would love to connect with you over on Instagram. My handle is strawberrychicxo and I post one to two daily looks every single day. So I will have that linked down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. You got a smile that makes the sun rise.